Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to go through a very, very quick tutorial on how to remove text from a photograph. So I actually just grabbed these photographs off of Google <clears throat> and I just want to show you what this looks like. I have no idea where these photos came from. They are not mine. Um, I just want to make that very clear before I start this. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and click like and subscribe below. That keeps me motivated to keep creating these videos for you guys. And of course, if there's anything <clears throat> that you're looking to see, go ahead and go over to the community tab on my YouTube channel and just drop a comment in there about what kind of techniques you are looking for for photo P or Silhouette Studio or, you know, social media, really anything like that. And of course, join my Facebook group. The link is below. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started. So say that you have a photo and you can't remember where you edited it at. You want to get rid of this text and add some new text. Um, it's a very simple process. We are just going to be using the brush tool to do this and a clone, quote unquote, to remove the task text. So what you're going to do is you open up your photo, go over to your brush tool. Okay. Now you can change the settings of the brush, uh, you know, size and um, keep the blend mode at normal. But what you're going to do is with these solid backgrounds, it's really, really simple. Okay. You're just going to go down to where you want. Now you can see there's two different color backgrounds here. Um, I don't know if you can see that on your screen, but all of the text is on this lighter golden color. So you're just going to hold the alt key down on your keyboard and you're going to click and then you're going to drag your brush up and you are going to paint over the words and watch them disappear okay and then you can put in whatever you're looking for so it's a really cool technique if you're like hey i really like this color background but i don't want to recreate it so i'm just going to take the text off of it um, i will emphasize do not do this on copyright or trademark images because you will get in trouble um, I do not condone that whatsoever. Um, but now you're probably thinking, okay, great, Tanya, that's fantastic for a very basic photo, but what about something with a more complex background? And I have that answer for you. So here you can see that there's a grass background, and I just grabbed this off of Google. It looks like it came from FreePick somewhere. Um, and instead of using the brush tool, because I'll show you what that does, if we use that same technique, Okay, all that's going to do is it's going to pull the color that we sampled. So then when you color over this, it's like, oh, hey, that's pretty freaking obvious that we're doing that. So you don't want that. What we're going to use is we're going to use this healing brush tool, which is right above your brush. And we're going to follow that same process. You were just going to find somewhere on the background that is similar. You're going to hit the alt key and click. And then you're just going to go ahead and paint over that. So. I actually didn't hit that where I wanted to um, try this again so I can what you'll notice when you're moving this around and painting is that there's a cursor and of course I'm trying to point to it you guys can't see it but like in the bottom left you can see the cursor and it's actually taking the background spots from where you clicked so if you don't like what your um, clone is you can always change it by holding down alt and then clicking right so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this here and I missed a little spot. And then I'm going to do alt click up here. And I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, I was a little too close there. I'm going to alt click about here. And I'm going to get rid of this. And you can see how that blends right in. So that's it. Now we have our grass texture. Okay. And you can do this on a myriad of backgrounds. So I just kind of threw this up in here real quick to show you uh, what this would look like. And again, you just use the healing brush You hold down the alt sample of the area and then click and drag. To get it to where you want it to go. Right? So, I mean, it's as easy as that. I just want to show you guys that technique. Somebody had asked on a Reddit board and I thought that the, um, Walkthrough tutorial was pretty self-explanatory, but this video may prove helpful. So, again, if you like this, go ahead and click like and subscribe below. If y'all are looking for something additional, 
please let me know. I am happy to create that for you. I hope everybody is surviving this coronavirus quarantine and that you guys are creating some awesome stuff. So we'll talk to you all later. Bye.